Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve question number five from paper two, uh, April uh, 2022. So the question here, we have an experiment is carried out to determine the count rate corrected for background radiation when different thickness of copper are placed between a radioactive source and a detector. The graph shows the variation of corrected count rate with copper thickness. Outline how the count rate was corrected for background radiation. Background radiation is counted. Background radiation is subtracted from each reading. This is how uh, the count rate was corrected for the background radiation. Now B, this is topic uh, seven, uh, guys, uh, nuclear uh, and atomic physics. B, when a single piece of thin copper foil is placed between the source and detector, the count rate is 810 count per minute. So, When we have the thickness, thickness is 0.25. The count rate is 810 count per minute. Count per minute. This is the thickness. Estimate the foil now is placed with one that has three times the thickness. Three times the thickness, that means three times 0.25 will give me 0.75. I need how much count rate, estimate the new count rate. This question, we can solve it from the graph. Here I have a relationship between copper thickness in millimeter and in y axis, I have the corrected count rates in count per minute. Here, each square here will represent 0.1 because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. So 0.5 divided by 5 to give me 0.1. So each square will give me 0.1. So here we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, here will be 0. 25. So if I draw a vertical line that touch the curve, so I'm going to extend this one. You in the exam you use you use ruler, not your hand. Don't don't draw with your hand. Ruler. So you draw a horizont, a vertical line that touch the curve, and then go and read this reading. This will give you around 810. So 0 0.75. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. 0.75, it will be here, 0.75. So if you go here, it just touch the curve and read it. So it will be less than 400, which is around between 390, 318. So at 0.75, how many counts straight? It will be around. 380. This is from the, the, the graph. Count per, per minute. Count per minute. Now see further results were obtained in this experiment with copper and lead absorber. So here I have a copper and this is lead. With copper, this, we, they use the same thickness, 3.5 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter. Now the corrected count rate, the, count, the, the amount of radiation per minute for copper is 32 and for lead 10. That means the copper allows some of the radiation to pass through it, which means lead is better absorber than copper. Lead is better absorber 
for the radiation than copper. Comment on the radiation detected from this radioactive source. Now we have three types of radiation we've studied. We have alpha particles, we have beta particles and gamma rays. Alpha particles, it's similar to helium nucleus. It has two proton and two neutrons. They're heavy and they're stopped within a few centimeter of air. Or even a sheet of paper will, will, will stop the alpha particle because they're heavy particles, but beta particles, they charge the electrons, they charge with negative uh, charge, they're smaller, they're lighter, so they can penetrate more in air, they travel more centimeter, few meters in air, and few millimeters, they can penetrate the aluminium for few millimeters in the aluminium foil. While gamma rays, it's uncharged, the light, uncharged, and their their energy is really high. They can penetrate even few centimeter in lead and very long distance in air. So gamma particle can go through lead, while alpha particle it will be stopped. Uh, uh, doesn't go through the aluminium foil, doesn't go or it will go a few centimeters in the aluminium foil and then it will be stopped. Now, section D, another radiation source consists of nuclide of cesium 55. Okay, this is the number of protons and 137, the atomic number, which is the number of neutrons plus the number of protons. That decays into barium, 57. So I have cesium, this, if I want to write down the decay, I have cesium, 55, and the atomic number, 137, it will decay to barium, 56, to 137. So if you notice, <clears throat> the atomic number doesn't change. I have 137, 137, but the number of protons now <clears throat> down changed. It became 56 from 57 till 56. If you just refresh your memory a little bit, we said, if you, the particle is alpha particle, the atomic number, the number of protons, the number of electrons will decay, will be reduced by four. The number of protons, Z, will be will reduced by two. So it's not alpha particle because the atomic number, the, num the, the number of protons and electrons, they're the same. Definitely going to be either beta decay positive negative or beta positive. It could be gamma, but gamma, gamma decay, the number of protons and number of neutrons doesn't change. Here in the beta negative decay, the number of protons increased by one. So it's gonna be beta decay, beta negative decay. So here it will be plus beta negative, DK and here plus the anti neutrino. Now here I have 55. If we add 55 minus one, it will give me 55. So the equation, my equation is balanced. This is the correct equation. That's it. See you inshallah next video.